Good afternoon, it's Jeremy. It's Sunday, January the 1st, 2023. Happy New Year. I'm just looking at uh, WSPR, Weak Signal Propagation Reporter, and I'm looking at whispernet.org at the map for 30 meters, and you can see there's a lot of activity going on there. What I'm using for uh, reception here, normally I'd have my antenna out on my balcony, but unfortunately my balcony is being rebuilt for the three, third time in five years, go figure. Anyways, what I'm using is I'm using an Alex loop, a magnetic loop from P1, PY1AHD. And I've got it tuned up right now for 30 meters. You tune it here for maximum signal output. And for reception, I'm using an RTL SDR with a Hammond up converter. And I've got a PL259 to SMA adapter. And um, so I'm just going to switch over to Camtasia and we can see uh, what kind of signals we're getting. Okay, so let's look at the uh, tuning of the magnetic loop. So right now I'm in SDR sharp. And over on the right hand side here, you can see all the various frequencies for, I've created a group called Whisper in the frequency manager, and I've entered all the various frequencies. Since I'm using a Hammond up converter, I've adjusted the shift from minus 125 megahertz to compensate for the 125 megahertz up conversion frequency. I'm on USB at five kilohertz bandwidth. So if I take the zoom control here and zoom out a little bit, uh, and I'm going to move the um, tuning of the loop. You can see how the loop uh, tunes pretty precisely there. So I'm just going to maximize it there. Okay, so let's go back out here so we can look at the bandwidth. And then we'll go over to WSJTX. That's Dr. Taylor's uh, decoding software. So here we are here, and we can see we've got a bunch of contacts here, or spots as they call them. These are uh, received uh, signals. Notice that the uh, signal strength is very weak here. Since I'm indoors, this building is concrete with rebar inside, so it's like virtual Faraday shield. So the only signals I'm going to get are the ones coming in perp almost perpendicular to the glass here that comes in through into the magnetic loop. So they're all pretty weak here, minus 24, minus 25, minus 26. I started off a couple of hours ago at 20 meters, and right now I'm in the 30 meter band. So the 30 meter band is stronger here. I've got quite a few contacts. So that's basically what happens. Uh, if you are connected to the, to the uh, internet, then you can upload your contacts to whispernet.org. So that's the, um, the website for whis whispernet.org. And if you go in here to map, that activates the map uh, layout, and then you can choose what particular band you want to look at. I'm looking at the 30 meter band, and then you can update it, and then you can scroll in to see, uh, to get more detail, fine detail, depending where you are. I've got a lot more detail in the blog post in terms of how the signal is put together and uh, the various transmission characteristics before FSK protocol, etc. So check out the blog post.